court regarding the incident of assault saying well oh where is the evidence this is did nobody have proof of this and i'll say this to them right several female members of parliament from the government side several of them came to me and apologized personally to my face and to say they have made strong statements of condemnation within their party about the abuse that was meted out against me. And you can see as well another truck that is attempting to pass has been blocked. Now, basically what the residents are asking for, and we have the police who would have arrived in the scene here as well, trying to get the stuff moved. You said you stopped me at the stop light at Bridge of Light. I'm asking what on what section are you charging me that you cannot provide me a summons to the fence? Can you please, sir? Can you please, sir? Can you please, sir? Take my information. Here's my license and summons me, sir. Please, it's your duty to do so. It's a traffic offense you're saying that I committed. Hello, Kwame. Hello, Kwame. Yes. Yeah, you sure, yes. Who is that? Julius, yes. hey, what's up? Oh, okay. So I don't know what, what really is the situation. Why, why, why are you out here? Earlier this afternoon, a truck plowed through this, the, 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 this impasse. A pregnant woman was, was, was passing, he almost killed her. And we had to take action to stop the truck from passing here after that. I, I would say this, that if Tommy McCoy and Anna Passad could abuse me as a member of parliament in the what is supposed to be the hallowed halls of parliament, then I can only imagine what other people face from these individuals outside of parliament. I have the traffic chief come in also in the morning. And we try to contact the persons that are using this tariff here. I want to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel and for the 92% of the brand new viewers that come through and you ain't hit the subscription button yet, hit the subscribe button buddy, the content is only going to get better moving forward, I gonna wait. Thanks. This is South Tumbrel Park. This is Abbey Barker Road, which, which was Abbey Barker Road. It's now seen as a dam according to residents in the area. The trucks are passing here daily and because of the scheme that has been built behind South Rumble Park and some parts of Cummins Lodge, the new scheme, every day the trucks are passing here and the road, as you can see, has become not a road. Not the road that people living in South Oville Park and neighboring North Oville Park are accustomed to because of these same trucks. What has happened here tonight is that the residents who are tired of complaining and tired of seeing the truck people put in sun and loom, which every day as they pass has been, as you can see, hasn't been holding. So the residents would have blocked off the road. They got some wood and some other stuff here, some scrap. And you can see as well another truck that is attempting to pass has been blocked. Now, basically what the residents are asking for, and we have the police who would have arrived in the scene here as well, trying to get the stuff moved. But the issue here is not about the trucks pass and the issue here is that the road is in a deplorable state and nothing is being done and people do not want to I think a little bit before we came there was an incident by a woman a pregnant woman at a daughter truck as it was coming in I'm gonna walk out here because you can see this is all a part of the road somebody complained only this, um, this afternoon that the bottom of the bumper of the car was, you know, dismantled. And we are approaching Rosa Drive at Abbey Barker Road. And we can see here the light permits me. This is the 
this is one entrance into this particular part of Harvey Barker Road. So, up to Friday last, the rubbish trucks had a hard time coming in to remove garbage because of the state of the road. People in this community are basically asking or calling upon the government or whatever authorities have the, have the power to do something about the road. Because our cars are being damaged, as you can hear from residents here. Cars are passing 3 o'clock in the morning, the trucks are driving in, people's um, bedrooms shaking, foundations cracking. This is what they have to deal with on a daily basis. Due to the infrastructure, infra infrastructural works on the ground. So we have a few persons here who are protesting against what is happening. So a pregnant woman was threatened by a big truck earlier. So persons are protesting against any passing of any truck until someone comes and remedies this situation. These are some of the things that we talk about. We know that the government is making dispose of a lot of money. Contracts have been given out, but consideration must be, must be given to the neighboring communities that are affected. While you, bake, while, while you build one community, Another, it, it's at the expense of another community. So residents are basically calling. My name is Kibi Copeland and I'm counsel for this community. As I said, we have the police here. The police are here who stand up as well. Who are here basically to either maintain order or remove trucks uh, are we remove trying to the preserve stuff. the place that residents in here to pass in and out in there? So you know, I don't know what, what really is the situation why, why, why are you out here earlier this afternoon a truck plowed through this the, 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 this impasse a pregnant woman was, was, was passing he almost killed her and we had to take action to stop the trucks from passing here after that and we therefore blocked the street to avoid the trucks, we left, we, we left passage that domestic cars can pass in and out. We have elderly folks here who need medical atten attention if, if ambulance, if there's any emergency, ambulance cannot come in here. Why do I understand all the concerns? Remember now, you have your right as, as well. But at the end of the day also, we still have a lot While you have a major concern, Myself, right? So why you have a major concern? We cannot act that would constitute this. We got hold on, hold on, just hold on. Just 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 right? So what we gotta do as, as, as members of this community, first of all, I don't know who's the contractor, but we're gonna find out. Or contractor. Right? I don't know who they are. One of them said the government has to pay them to fix the road. That is what he said. You have to listen to me all the time. You are here. There's no conflict. I know you're coming and then we're going to discuss this way forward. Right? You're going to come to this. So, what we'll do from the police perspective is that we, myself, I'm the deputy commander of charge. I have the traffic chief come in also in the morning. And we try to contact the forces that are using this tariff baby. Because of course you know in development, no matter how you see it, they will get some discomfort. But they must do it in a way that we could all exist, the road to work, and we could also live and survive when we go so everybody can use it. That's all fine. So what we're gonna do is that we will consult with talk to the chief the crime the uh, travel chief in the morning. I'll be here also in my team and we're trying to connect with those persons who are in charge of building this road and let them know that while they have their job to do. People still have to live and we need to survive. You want nobody knocking nobody down until this place. So while well, I understand you have concern and so on and so forth. Next is one. Hello, I'll talk to you. Don't tell you to Right? So blocking the road is not one of the options. That is not to be exploited at this time. 
give us an opportunity to look at the situation and then we can take it from there if if, if the situation cannot be handled. Right? No, no, no. Listen to me now. No, no. Be wrong, man. So what we going to do for tonight, I will ask for your cooperation to clear the road one and two, from what is within our powers, what is within the police powers, I'm going to ensure that the police patrol is present in this area. So that they're not going to use this road recklessly. That's what we could do temporarily. But for in the morning, myself and the travel chief and other person will be here. We will even contact whoever building this road and thing. And let them know that, hey, people exist here. You got to use this road with caution because we don't want any part of fatalities on the road. Right? In terms of, in terms of the speed of pass, we're here with also. That contributes to the shaking of the buildings. And so if they take the time down from the corner, right mommy? Right? So if they take the time from the if they take a couple minutes from, from this corner here to pass it, yeah, affect them in no way. So these are the kind of things that we need to put forward, but for our position I want to think some here. So what we need to do from our perspective is to ensure that they don't continue the reckless use of this road for tonight. Immediately. For tonight. No, no, for immediately. Tonight. What we will do. It's called the patrol of police presence to remain in this area. All right, so if I can have, speak for the residents, I think we heard you. And we heard you clearly. Can I speak for the residents? Because I think all these residents just hear you and I heard you. Mm -hmm. oh, we are not of the view that these trucks must not pass, or we are not against development in this neighborhood. We are not against development in the country, because in any developed country, we have to have development. While we heard you out clearly, and we have respect for you and, and law and order and the rest of it, we are the persons that are suffering in this neighborhood yeah. and one thing we would want to propose tonight is that we did not block the road for the vehicle traffic or the vehicle traffic just the truck. it is just the trucks and the reason being that we did that i think you already got a point mm. it is moving an a reckless point on this whole road secondly we as the residents are not having the uses of the road because of what they're doing and if you understand our position tonight that we are not doing this because we want to go down with development or we want to destroy development we are doing this because the residents of south from Bell park are in, are fed up and very tired of the situation this is not a tonight situation while we love that you're on the ground and you come here to in case the resident because we are very we very happy that you took it, the time off to come out of your office to come on the ground we are so disgusted that we don't think that what you are proposing tonight with the big truck is conducive and contentful to the resident we are not having it no 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 even if we clear that block, one person, one person. Even if that's what's all, that's all. Everything when they come in, you say you go send for attention, show order, and you know no reckless. It's not the reckless driving. No time, no time. The cons of the driving in. This is not the worst, you know. The weekend looking too bad right now. And the blowing hard to our tonight. When they're done, I can't. My son going in the night. Now he's taking a cat cock. A truck to come and pull you up. Now they say fear. You mean to tell me now just how all people burn when you see it, your pass because they're fed up. We are also extremely so don't see tired of right them. Fed up. Mr. Ben, one, another person has been very vocal in the community, a businessman in the community as well, um, was out here last night when they had, when the residents peacefully put out stuff in the, the whole to avoid trucks from coming in. What's your take on what transpired today after that action last no, night? We, we're very happy um, and I say satisfied with it. With the reaction and, and, and the action we've got so far, the police were very much involved. We thank them for, for the efforts and they were able to do their own um, 
negotiation and calling and, and, and getting this to the right people. Um, the minister was here, he, he indicated the president instructed him to come and, and examine the situation here. And on the spot he was able to call contractors um, to get the work started. In fact, we already have a, a, a truckload of loom already dumped. Um, so I guess equipment will be coming in first in the morning to start clearing the road. And the entire stretch um, from Rosa Drive, perhaps from last entrance, will push to get done straight down to the end of Lama, Lama Play. So, and the road will be undertaken that the road will be properly done. There will be dug out, um, filled with the requisite um, materials and taken to the stage of, of um, bitumen. And we must say the government has been responsive and we wish to thank them and compliment them for their Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ben. You heard from a, a resident of Confinity 14, South Trumpet Park. I'm here for years and we would have, uh, today, after the action of residents coming out on the road and blocking this particular part, as you can see here, this is a little hole. This, I grew up in South Monville Park and trust me, I never see this road like this before. Children had to come out um, in the rainfall this morning. You could see how this place was a mess. You know, you had to walk with a cloth at the end of the street to wipe off your shoes. Um, there are a lot of cars who pieces of the bumper stick in some hole um, there was one woman who actually walked out and caught, caught a bus this morning because she said she's not taking the chances with her vehicle because you know you might drive out here today and you spend far more money than a, um, than a bus fare by taking it to the body shop this is what this is the state of the road because of the, the scheme that has been built at the um, back of south some parts it's it's behind south north and Cummins uh, Cummins Park um, this is the some of the debris that was placed in a particular hole to block the trucks from coming yet again residents were not disorderly residents basically came out the block off parts no truck could pass they allowed residents the cars the bus the motorcycle etc to come through but when it comes to trucks there was a no-no the police came, they wanted to move the sub, but after consensus between the police force and the residents, the stuff was, they came to the conclusion that the stuff should be, should remain, um, not allowing trucks to come in, and um, we're, great, we're grateful. That action, of course, caused the minister within the Ministry of Infrastructure to come this afternoon. This team is getting things done. This team is getting things done. This team is busy. This team is keeping the ears to the ground. These two right here is about infrastructure and they're getting the job on the ground done. You hear what the people on the ground are saying? They're thanking them for the responses and we're thanking them for the quick response in helping the persons out. The persons in North and in South Ramville. They thanking you and we thanking you. Honorable Minister Edgil and the Honorable Minister Indar. We are thanking you for moving so fast to get that work there started. But guess what? We watching for make sure everything done because we know the area there. This plantation Ramville, for those who might not know, is a plantation used to be. There's a key and field plantation. So, the area there is always going to have a problem with irrigation, hence the roads are always going to need some type of work done. So, we're looking for see if the road is going to stay like that, and when they fix it, we're looking for see if it's going to get back like that, because the way that road was right there, I really want to know how they was passing there all the time, and nobody else is making sure that the part there, but that road was fixed given that the trucks were passing all the time but the residents came out and things got done guess why because the ministers are there for the people because the ministers were quick response and they were willing to get things done things can gonna get done you know so we need people like this that's gonna get it done that's gonna listen to the people and use the power that was given by the persons in that area, by the constituents, to get things done. And we appreciate it, but we're watching. 
we want to make sure everything is done the way that it's supposed to be done and we're watching to make sure that not just the ministers is doing what they're supposed to do but the citizens them too is not destroying the road and making sure that when the new road come the same thing don't happen for bring back the situation the car does real bad and it's always going to have a problem again with flooding and water in that area because there's a lot of water all over there that place there is designed for flood it's been flooding for generations cars again it's a keen feel but at the same time persons are living there now so they can't live in it like if it's a keen feel they want to make sure that everything is the way that it should be why because we live in one of the richest countries in the world right and we ministers them is doing what they're supposed to do shout out to the ministers of infrastructure Minister Indar and Minister Ejil. Thanks. Meant, um, and has had a history of not not putting indigenous people within that within that little box. And indigenous people in this coalition government has been allowed to 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 have strides as you so wish for yourself. The PPI administration and, and they have had um market's so bad like i don't even know where to start to be honest with you but if you were to examine and this is not something i'm just saying you can go persons are, are welcome to go examine the indigenous mps on their side and see what portfolios they hold and what they speak on they're they are not venture out 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 of that box that they are placed within in the PPP. That's how they treat with indigenous people. They believe that they can only go so far. So how dare me believe that I should not be subjected to this little box? How dare I think that I can dream to be a lot more and, and aspire and work hard to be a little bit more than, than just fitting myself into that little box. So they have an issue with me in particular because I'm a female member of parliament on the opposition side more specifically because i am an indigenous woman the, these gentlemen has absolutely no respect for indigenous women they believe indigenous women are tools to be used and abused they believe that indigenous women should be sexualized and that's why they come to me with those type of derogatory comments every comment that comes from Kwame McCoy and Anand Prasad in my direction is is sexually laced comments misogynistic comments they make very well sure that all inference made is going to speak to me being an indigenous woman it's going to speak to where I come from and and those manner of things so they don't try to to, to sugarcoat it they are very blatant and nasty in how they say things and i have to say because um i didn't say this anywhere else and i'm going to say it here now for the first time that because i did see a lot of persons that support staunch supporter of the ppp commenting on some of under some of the of the posts and so forth regarding the incident of assault saying well oh where is the evidence this is this, nobody have proof of this and i'll say this to them right several female members of parliament from the government side several of them came to me and apologized personally to my face and to say they have made strong statements of condemnation within their party about the abuse that was meted out against me it could only happen in guyana 36 minutes after 8 o'clock, especially under the PPP regime. Now, let me remind the nation again, and those, those, all of you who are watching, in case you didn't know tonight, you know for sure that Kwame McCoy, apart from being a deportee, and this is nothing against uh, brothers and sisters who have been deported, but Kwame was deported from a small island for whatless business, whatless business. But apart from that, he has had his U.S. visa revoked for mm -hmm. again, whatlessness allegations of whatlessness you guys take a listen to this please while we get back to the honorable MP. yes yes oh yes who is that oh yes i was uh, okay that's not 
Hello, Kwame. Hello, Kwame. Yes. Yes, Julius. Who is that? Julius. Hey, what's up? Okay. I want to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel. And for the 92% of the brand new viewers that come through. And you ain't hit the subscription button yet. Hit the subscribe button, buddy. The content is only going to get better moving forward. I'm going to wait. Thanks. Probably be coming in town soon. Probably be coming to town soon. Oh my god. Probably tomorrow or Friday. Okay, then, uh, then then? Yeah. Oh yeah, first I didn't have a man. You talk about what I told you. Huh? I think you didn't get a message. If what? You didn't get a shoot to me, but I told you before I was there, you got shoot to rock? No, you got shoot to nobody. So what are you up to? If what? What are you up to? Well, right now I'm just exhausted. I'm actually sick on it. There's so much on my head. I don't know how you operated like that. If I made plans, I don't know. What are you saying, right? I'm a bit I can't hear you. I'm a bit nervous. Nervous about what? What you told me about how are you going to how are you going to go by the hotel and you'll be coming here any night. You what? You told me in the hotel in Hartfield, right? Yeah. When you be coming in the night, right? When you come back from cricket. When I come back from what? Cricket. Mm hmm Yeah. So they be studying that you might would be into something else because I don't think you would do certain things for me like that. But I don't know. I'm a bit nervous. Like, it's not like something I custom doing. No, it would be the first time for me. <laughs> Why you need to tell me straight up what it is because I think we have a relationship where we don't know about <laughs> So... Not a problem. Alright, uh, uh, Miss... Uh, Director, it's just basically a reminder of who the individual is. Uh, uh, allegations of soliciting sex from a schoolboy, an underage schoolboy, uh, at that time. So much so that the U.S. Embassy revoked his visa so when you listen to these guys insult or attempt to insult you, you should smile like thousands of people are smiling right now because these guys have no moral authority, none whatsoever. Convicts, uh, going after little boys, all manner of things they're up to. They're criminals, convicts. I mean, I'm not sure if you listened to that conversation before as a mother. How does that make you feel, Miss? Well, you, you're right, Mark. I've, I've actually never listened to that conversation. Uh, this is that's the first time I've actually heard um, that part of it. Um, so I have I, I'm not familiar with the contents thereof totally. But what I can say is what I can speak to is what I have faced myself. Um, from Kwame McCoy and it has been nothing short of the most vile type of verbal abuse and to say it and to think that it comes at the level of the National Assembly is even worse so I, I would say this that if Kwame McCoy and Anna Bassad could abuse me as a member of parliament in the what is supposed to be the hallowed halls of parliament 
then I can only imagine what other people face from these individuals outside of Parliament, because Parliament is supposed to be the protected space. So if in clear, clear view of the public in the chambers itself, I can be disrespected, then as all people say, what you could see in the light, don't take torch light and go look for it in the dark. Watch. See again? Joking around? Kidding around? Or being malicious, allegedly? from the perspective of the honorable minister but we will never know because we were not there and this is protected by the halls of parliament there is no jurisdiction within these particular confines so we now have to go with he say and she say this honorable minister said this and this honorable minister said that Honorable Minister Fernandez said this and the two Honorable Ministers said that in their defense. We don't want a Guyanese Me Too movement start. We don't want this to become a shit storm that's going to mess up everything that's going on within our government right now. We just had the biggest budget period. Right now we're good. Right now, we have a lot of finances and an entire year ahead of us to spend it and make sure that this government does the things that they're supposed to do for their constituencies and the country is moving forward in the way that it should. But look where we are right now. I am hoping that this is not a Me Too movement or something that's going to create a snowball effect because we already see the honorable ministers walking out or staging, allegedly staging a walkout in parliament because of the way that they've been treated, because of the disrespect that's been handed down to the females in the parliament of Guyana, allegedly. Now, this situation is not good at all. I can't say that nobody right now, no grown person right now, no thinking person right now, is looking at this and saying that this is nothing positive when it comes down to the way that it's going to reflect on the country. We don't want this. We don't want nothing like this. We don't want to have to deal with nothing like this. We shouldn't have to deal with nothing like this. As Guyanese, we deal with enough. We should not have to deal with this. There should be some manner of protocol. There should be some manner of decorum, right? Expected within those same confines. Because, I mean, ultimately, these are the heads of our society and this behavior is very unbecoming regardless of in regardless of if these allegations are true or not we don't want to hear these type of things coming from parliament we want to hear the type of things that we've been hearing recently when it comes down to the amount of money going into the economy when it comes to the amount of things that's been developed, this being built, this new that, this new that, right? We want to hear about the great achievements within our country. We don't want to hear about this for none of our comrades, for none of our countrymen or countrywomen. We want to make sure that everybody is able to work and feel comfortable in their work environment. Let's have a conversation about this, guys. What do you think about this? How do you guys feel about this? Most of us are parents. Some of us are not. Would you want your daughter to be in an environment like that if she had to go to work? And would you want to limit her from the type of jobs that she might be able to have within the confines of the constituency or the diaspora of Guyana? Right? Because of her sexuality, would you want a girl 
certain jobs is not for females, you know. I don't really think that's the environment you would be comfortable in. No, they should be able to deal and to be comfortable any place that they go to be employed and they go to supply their services in a professional manner. They should be treated as such. Right? And then, we got this other video coming up right after it. Now, you got Absorber going on here in this other video with these two squaddy and this man with a pullover. You tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you absorb it because it don't look too transparent it looked like something kind of left or right with this situation it don't look like if this is going straight but we can have a conversation about this because it seems like they wanted to take a pee from my perspective i mean i could be completely wrong but you guys tell me who you observe in this video coming up and let's have a conversation about this as well in the comment section. Okay. What's your regulation? Come right. Good evening, Good evening officer. Mister, what's your name, you said? Mahine, sir. What's your regulation number, sir? My name is Cos Mahine. What is your regulation number? 21185. What's your name, also? Okay. What's your regulation number? Huh? What is your regulation number? What's the purpose of you stopping me? Bridge the traffic lights. Where did I bridge the traffic light? The traffic light. How did I bridge the traffic light? At no time I drive it while driving, the light was, was red. I'm telling you you would have bridged the light. It's kind of less right? to the station. Who's the SO in charge? I'm in charge of the patrol. Is there an SO? No, sir. Well, can you have an SO, please? I'm in charge of the patrol. I'm waiting here until you have an SO. Here. I'm in charge of the patrol. I am here. Come, I'm asking you to have an SO control. that is there with you performing traffic duties at this time to please present himself or horse. What you gotta have an SO for? They're here to stop me, sir. If I stop you, then you, have an SO for. you need to have an SO with you on that patrol when you're pro when you're pro when you're providing yourself a service, right? To perform traffic duties. If you're not stopping me on a roadblock. Or I'm not committing any offense or any malicious offense, right? Because you guys are general duty patrol ranks and you're stopping me for. You are stopping me. You are stopping me, sir. Saying that I have breached the light. I approached the light on green and went through on a yellow light. I'm asking you the offense. Under which section? Under which section are you stopping me, sir? You're refusing to go to the station. I'm not going to the station without any SO. Are you telling me why you're stopping me under which section of the law? You're stopping me. Yes, I would like to know the offense and how could you prove the offense that I stopped here? I know what I'm saying. I have no problem. What I'm saying, I'm going to produce my license, my documents. Can you please take my information? Can you please? Can you please? Please take my information and prosecute me by the way of summons, which is your duty, sir. You need to proceed to this station. No, I cannot proceed to this station. I'm very tired. I am very tired in order to go anywhere. I cannot proceed to the station at this time. I have to get some rest. I have to go to work. Right? So I'm asking you kindly to take my information. I'm asking you to please take my information. I'm giving you my license for the second time. Can you please take it? I don't give you someone, sir. And take my information and use me with summons. You're not to go. Sir, I'm not going through that car now. Officer, the signs, Mr. Hines, can you please take my information and pass keep me away of summons? You 
said you stop me or you stop light at bridge your light. I'm asking what on what section are you charging me that you cannot provide me a salmon to the fence? Can you please, sir? Can you please, sir? Can you please, sir? Take my information. Here's my license and summons me, sir. Please, it's your duty to do so. It's a traffic offense you're saying that I committed. I'm saying I did not. I do not have to report to the station for a traffic offense which you could sums me for. Can you please take my license? Can you please can you please take my license, Mr. Hines? Already checking license. Mr. Lines, please take my information, sir. If I committed offense, you prosecute me by the way of summons, which you have all right to do so. I'm very tired. I have to go and get some rest after work. Right, sir? At no time did I went through the traffic light when it was red sir can you please prosecute me we have summons or do i need to go to the police complaints authority for you right sir miss signs please take my license i refusing to do so sir miss signs you're the constable on the patrol you say i have no so can you please Take my information or may I proceed and go have a rest to go to work, sir? Please. I'm asking you, sir, please. Please take my information, sir. I'm asking you, I'm very tired. At no time did I, did I ever, at no time did I ever breach a traffic light. Here's my license, sir. Here's my license. Can you please take my information? Can you please? No, I'm very tired, sir. I'm very tired. You can prosecute me by way of summons. It's your duty to do so. Right? It's the police duty to prosecute the way of summons. I did not at any time commit any malicious offense. Right? I don't know. I don't know if you could explain such to me. You're the police. Right? I did not commit any felonious crime. What is felonious? Right? Or you breach anyone's skin. I did not commit any crime. Did not hit. Did not hurt anyone. Well, Can you please, like please, sir, so take my information. It's a traffic offense. There's no traffic rank on this vehicle. You're not a traffic rank. You're not a SO. You said you don't have a SO. Police have the duty to perform the duty in yeah, 3,000 square miles, but they need to do it right. Can you please? Can you please? Have you found any illegal substance on my vehicle? Some, some liquor there. Yes, I had a birthday party. So I was drinking liquor, but three months ago, I have some in my vehicle still. Is there a problem? No, because they came into this country on duty free. It's only two bottles of rum. Can I have it? They're home somewhere in my house, sir. No, I don't need to have them because. I'm going to take the rest uh, of friend for him to drink. Two, it's only two but and two of them on the on the vehicle. Have, have two of them on the vehicle. Have they have receipts. They are three. They are four bottles of rum in the there vehicle. Bottles, two of sir. them have a receipt. The other two I had home in my house to kick back. I just bring it and give it away. I don't need to do it. I don't need to have a receipt something I put on in my house and going to give away. They That's came in on duty free. Customs. Customs are the person that would stop and check for that. The police has no right over alcohol that was in my house at this so time of the evening. They are duty free it's rum. I travel a lot. I travel a lot. I have my passport. I could show you. Yes, that's my job. I have a passport. I could show you my entry into this country on today's day. Can you please take my information? Anything else you would like to know? But my traveling frequency, my job. I know, sir. At no time I have it. If it's such, right, you can contact GRA. Here's my bus. You there you could stop me. No, sir. I, I'm very tired. Contact, I yeah. cannot make it to the station now. You gotta see your best right? to make it, Mr. Steven. It's not not nothing more to see. No one's in the hospital. I had no time to commit any felonious act no, or malicious act for you, act, sir. Steven. See if you're, you're inviting me to the station. Correct. Let's go. I, I, I would decline your invitation. I decline your invitation, sir. You need to proceed to the right? No, sir. I refuse to go because I, it's an invitation you're giving me. I know time. I'm, I'm not under arrest. Am I under arrest, sir? I, am I under arrest, sir? Am I, am I under arrest, sir? Am I under arrest, sir? Am I under arrest, sir? Yes, sir. Let me help you. 
I don't here. need to give a police officer no, outside. Yes, yeah, so I'm listening to you. You hear? Uh. Uh, go on to the station. Yeah, but I'm tired. I have to go get my skin. Look at my skin. I have to get my skin clean, and you need to go. Sorry, exactly my point. I have to walk in the morning for one o'clock. I need to go get myself clean up, right? Have a rest and continue my job. You're inviting me. You're inviting me to the station, sir. Are you inviting me to the station? But okay, you're inviting me. To, am I under arrest? Not as yet. Am I presently on arrest? Not as yet. There's only so why are you, you inviting me to the station? I'm instructing you to proceed. No, sir. A police cannot instruct someone to go to the station. You could invite me or arrest me. Invite are you arresting me, sir? I'm you to proceed to the station. Am I under arrest, sir? You're not proceeding to the station? Sir, am I under arrest? Yeah, tell me if you're not proceeding to the station. No, I'm not under arrest. You're not proceeding to the station, Sir, Steven. you're inviting me to the station? I'm instructing you to proceed to the station. No, I don't see your your instruction is lawful at this present time. You don't see it lawful? No, no. So I'm asking you, and I'm, uh, am I under arrest? Mr. Steven, you're not going there? No, sir. Without an invitation, if you give me an invitation, I'm not going to go because I'm not interested in going to the station at this time. At 1 in the morning, Steven. I'm not interested in going to the station. At 1 in the morning for no reason. Am I on arrest, sir? Am I on arrest? Am I under arrest? Sir? You're stopping me. Am I on arrest? Am I on arrest, sir? Miss Heinz, Constable Heinz, am I on arrest? Your station at Torquem Police Station, you said? You're not presuming, sir. Sir, am I under arrest? I'm very tired. Alright? Am I under arrest? For this time, a caution, right, Mr. Steven? For, what's a caution for? I'm arresting you. Uh huh, for. Caution, right? Yes, for. Anything you sure do use against you in the portal, alright, Mr. Steven? Yes. Just kindly secure your bus now. I cannot secure my bus. Can you secure your bus? I cannot secure my bus. The police vehicle and proceed to the station. I cannot leave my and vehicle here. under arrest now, right? For what offense? Breach of traffic light signal, failing to is, comply the police. Is stop, breach stop. of traffic light no offense I committed? Come secure your bus. Sir? No, I cannot secure my bus. Yes, everybody. Well, you have somebody, you have somebody to secure your bus there? No, I, I got nobody to secure my bus. This me bus, I can't leave it nowhere. For what, sir? So it's an offense that I need to be arrested and taken to the station. You cannot produce. You arrested me? Okay. Well, I refuse to go to the station. No, sir. Secondly, you got some, some liquor in the vehicle, you only show a receipt for two. You got three that don't have a receipt for, right? You claim that it's going to be three. So you got to verify the GR, right? And then you fail to comply with the police instruction. So then they will have some after all. It's like priority. So you're not presenting this thing. So you have to be a police leader, you tell the security boss, the security police vehicle, you can see this. So this time you're under arrest, right? If they didn't bridge the light, they got traffic damage there, that's what we're going to do with the right? But then you can go really quickly because... I left me boss out, me left me boss out there. You left me boss out there. You simply tell him something. Would you like to drive to the station? Or is it going to be police? I don't know if he has some personal problem against police. He refused it. Because he's telling me what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be doing it. 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 No, me do nothing.